Okay, so I've been having this issue where I can't drag my files. Like if I'm trying to move audio or video left, right, up, or down, I just keep getting like that little circle guy with the, the little Ghostbuster sign, right? And I can't do it anywhere. Now I realize when I do that, I've got, first of all, my duration is two minutes. I have no clip selected, so if I go to right click, clear in and out, I don't have an in and out point, but it's selected at two minutes when clearly I've got almost 24 hours on my timeline here, and it looks like it starts to reset a little bit to the other later half of my timeline. And if I get a little bit closer, it starts to reset over 24 hours. So you'll notice if I click and drag, this will change to 16 to 17. It'll basically mark its in and out point. If I let go, it's at 15 minutes, and then it kind of resets to like two minutes. So I think what is happening here is that Premiere is just confused by the numbers. The numbers don't quite match up. So the way that I handled this is because I have all of my footage. I had a lot of footage, and then I synchronized it all. So now there's a lot of space here. So I'm just grabbing one of these ends here. And if you could just grab one of these open spots and hit delete, that moves everything on the timeline. Let me do that again with the camera focused on the timeline. Do that, hit delete, and it moves everything up. So now you'll see that's the correct time. That's 1328. That's also 1328. And that's all synced up. And look at this. I can move my stuff. So if you've seen things online about just like changing the workspace and all of that stuff, maybe you can try that. Maybe you can try going up here and just changing your workspace. Or if you go up to Window and Workspaces, change your workspace and see if you can move things. But I think ultimately if you look at your timeline and if it's over 24 hours, there might be a challenge with some of the numbers and being able to do that. So let me backtrack one more time and show you the problem again. So you see we've got these, we've got no in and out points and then these two numbers are out of sync, right? So I'm gonna select just an open area here on the timeline and basically everything gets moved forward and that allows everything to get synced up again. Those numbers are synced up and then I can move these numbers on my timeline. All right, so let me make sure that actually didn't fall out of sync because that needs to make sure it's connected to my audio. And there we go. So hopefully that works out well for you. My screen is very dirty, it turns out. <laughs> and um, yeah, let me know if you still have issues and uh, be curious to see if there's, you know, if, if this matches your use case or if you have other challenges.